All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rakal Kadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing, getting, pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. One go in this video of do not let no woman or don't let a woman control you. Okay? And, um, you know, this is going to the brothers, because that's what the scriptures is for. You know, it's towards the men. Okay, first. Okay? On how we're supposed to conduct ourselves as men throughout this uh, this life. Okay? Uh, especially in these uh, hectic times that we're living in now. Okay? But when we go into the, the, the definition of control, okay? It says the power to influence or direct people's behavior or the course of events, right? Now the verb, right, which is the action, it says determine the behavior or supervise the running of, okay? So, you know, don't let a woman determine your behavior, okay, or try to supervise you on what you're supposed to do Okay, how you supposed to run things, what you supposed to do, especially if you're the man of the house, okay, that's your house, okay? And a woman, I always say myself, you know, that a woman is supposed to beat to your drum, okay, and not the other way around, okay? You have these women that, you know, which is the biggest lie, okay, one of the biggest lies, okay, that women are, are gods, that they know good and evil, okay? And, um, you know, that's something that Esau has put, which is the serpent, he's put into our woman, you know, he put into Eve. Okay? Now, when we go into the scriptures, there are many scriptures that, that uh, speak out, you know, against a woman being in control. Okay? This is uh, Proverbs 31 and uh, 1. And it says the, the words of King Lemuel, right? The prophecy that his mother taught him, right? So this was his own mother, okay? Which well, this is King Solomon, okay? King Lemuel, okay? It's just the title, okay? We go into the word Lemuel, okay? It's for God, okay? So... It says, uh, what my son and what the son of my womb and what the son of my vows. It says, give not thy strength unto woman, nor thy ways to that which destroyeth kings. Okay? So don't don't let a woman, a woman ruin you. Okay? Don't let a woman, you know, take away your crown or even, you know, the, 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 uh, have her thinking that she's over top of you because first off that's going off according to what the scriptures say okay this is uh first timothy 2 you know what i start at uh i start at nine and it says in like manner also that women adorn themselves and modest apparel with same face with same faceness right and and sobriety not with broided hair or gold or pearls or costly array now a lot of these women out here in this world as we know it they're they're um careless women okay a lot of these women want to be independent you know with well, this 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 world it's about to come crashing, man. It's crashing right before their eyes. You know, in order for them to, to get something as far as, you know, some type of mirth in this land, enjoyment of this world, right? You gotta get you gotta get jabbed up. You know, and then it's gonna be to the point where you gotta get, you know, chipped up. Okay, and a lot of these women, they go on they're gonna be standing in lines, man. You know, and they're gonna have their their children in their hands. 
you know, getting getting chipped up, man. You know, and if you're not careful, that woman could could have you standing in line, man. You know, all because you think you got a good woman, you got some body. Hey, I I seen guys in the world, man. You know, some of my friends, man, that they allowed their women to talk them into, you know, uh, to getting it, man. You know, to getting jabbed up. <laughs> you know, the guys, you know, doing stuff that they normally wouldn't do just just because they think that they got a girl and it's like, oh, I got to I got to listen to her. You know, it's like, oh, she wear the pants. And it's like, yo, you you you, you tripping right now, man. You know? But they don't they don't under truth understand the truth. We we do. We have the truth here, man. You know? So we 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 got to stay focused and we got to remain focused, man. You know? The, the, the woman the the you know, the devils that they would that they are, you know? They, they would, you know, and I'm not saying that all women are, you know, evil or wicked, you know, but the scriptures just say what they say about them, man. You know, the order, the or it's a certain order, you know. You got Yahweh the Most High, you got Yahweh Shah, right? That's who's supposed to control us, right? Then you have the men, and then you have the women, okay? And then, you know, the children. You know, the children, when they get older, they fall, they, they fall in line with where they're supposed to be at, okay? But, you know, the women, they'll use their children against you, you know? And then in the household, they'll have, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the children first, then them, and then you, and then, then it's the Lord. Like, they don't, they, don't, they don't understand the real order, man, okay? And if a woman wanna, you know, use the child against you or whatever, you gotta, you gotta be able to, 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 to not allow this woman to determine your behavior, man. Okay, and that's even to the point because I was saying that they, they devils, they'll use their children, your children against you, right? Was there, your, they're your children first, okay? Yeah, she, oh, they came from out of her womb and every, all that. You know, but that, that seed that was implanted in that woman is the man's. Okay? But let Esau tell it, uh, the woman, you know, she can put you on child support, all this stuff, man. You know? And and that influences the behavior of, you know, men. Because they, they're allowing their women to control them. Because they're fearing certain consequences, you know, what they would what would happen if I didn't please my woman. You know? My woman is gonna be mad at me like, oh, what the heck I'm gonna do? I ain't gonna find no other woman. It's over. You know, like you got guys out here who have that mindset. It doesn't even to the point with their mothers. You know? Being mama's boys and simps, man, that's not that's not that's not our calling, man. Okay, we were called into this truth to to worship Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, man. Okay, if a woman, you know, uh, uh, come, you know, into the picture, right? We gotta stay on top of them. Okay, and 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 trust me, it's it's a job. Okay, it's definitely a job. It says. But, but, second, First Timothy two and ten. But and, and, and right now, it's a job. But hey, in the future, right? Because this is the society gonna come. Cram These women gonna start run. They gonna get in order, right? And some some women are gonna start trying to come to the men of the Lord in order to try to you know get some type of protection, man. You know, they are gonna come try, try to get some protection, man. You know, because they gonna see that we're moving in a whole total different vibration than the rest of these freaking niggas out here, man. Okay? It says, but but which becomes women professing godliness, right? With good works. <laughs> right? The works that a woman does is different from the works that a man does. Okay? We go out there on the highway and have just our us as men, we are supposed to be in, in control of things, okay? Women are supposed to be in control of things. This 
they're so used to being in control of things in this world, you know, that when they get a man that they think that they have to continue to control things and, you know, they have to make suggestions and say certain things and, you know, you have to fall in line and stuff like that, you know. It says, let the woman learn in silence with all subjection. And, you know, that's, that's, that's hard for a lot of these women, man. Okay? <clears throat> They're supposed to learn in silence, okay? And guess what? If a woman doesn't do that, then that's that's a sin, okay? Because the whole Bible is the law, okay? It says, but I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over the man, but to be in silence. So if a woman is trying to teach you, <clears throat> oh, you know the scriptures say this, bring it out some precepts on you, right? And that's going off, okay? And that's that's a woman, oh, uh, you know the scriptures say you're supposed to do this, do, you know, such and such. You, you, try, to, you try to teach, <laughs> you know? Like, uh, that, that, we know what the scriptures say, you know? But it's, it's first and foremost, these scriptures are, are, you know, towards men, you know? And I would suggest, you know, if a, you got a woman, you know, if you having her watching, you know, other brothers videos, man, you know, cause the, the next thing you know, it comes to you and say, oh, you know, Apostle Gabar said this, Apostle Tahar said this, and it's like, yeah, you know, you're going off, you know, trying to reprove you, correct you and stuff like that, you know? We're, we're, we're the ones who, who's supposed to be in control of things, man. Okay? And it's not to be, you know, some proud, you know, or, or, or whatever. You know, it's really Yahweh by Shemuel Osai, man. Okay? But, you know, we're in this, this day and age, man, where, you know, this is, this is, you know, videos like this are necessary. Okay? Because I see it all the time, man, of guys, you know, just letting their women walk right over them. You know, the women that let you know where she want, where, where she going, and you, that she going to do it, and you can't do nothing about it. She ain't asking you for permission. She ain't asking you. She's saying what she going to do. But then, you got to ask permission to go to the store. You got to ask permission to go to spend money out of your bank account. You got to ask money. You got to ask permission for all, all these things that you supposed to have. You ain't even supposed to ask. I see a lot of uh, uh, things where they talk about a man of the Lord is supposed to, uh, a man is supposed to ask his woman if he can go get other wives. That's not in the Bible. Okay? So it says, I suffer not a woman to teach, nor to usurp authority over them, right? Controlling. Right? Now, None of the, none of, there is no account in the scriptures where a man went to go ask his woman for permission to go get another woman. Okay? There is no account that says so. Okay? King David did not go to any of his women and ask him, could he get another wife? Okay? In fact, they said when he perceived that he was king, he multiplied more wives and concubines. Okay? If a man had a woman, uh, yeah, we, you know, what, if she don't, if she don't, if she knows what, what you are into, you know, as far as this truth and everything, she saw already understand, you know, what comes with the territory, you know? We can go get a, a woman if we want to, as long as that's not another man's woman. Okay? Don't let it influence your, your 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 mindset, you know. But these women, you know, there's a lot of crazy stuff, man, with these women, especially the ones that don't know it. Oh, if you could go get another woman, I could go get another man. You know that bull crap, you know. Or or the woman, the woman may be interested in other women, <laughs> you know. Trying to have threesomes and stuff, man. That's going all the way off, man. Okay? 
women, women, you know, on other women and stuff like that. You know, it's uh, it's second second Samuel six and twenty. It says, then David returned to bless his household, right? Because this is his household, and Michael, the daughter of Saul, came out to meet David, and said, how glorious was the king of Israel today, who uncovered himself today in the eyes of his of the handmaids of his servants. Right, as one of the vain fellows seamlessly uncovers himself. Now, if you notice the story about King King David and Michael, okay, Saul's daughter, then you will understand that in order for King David to get her, right, King Saul, he he gave him a a, a, a a deal so to say okay that he he thought that King David wasn't going to be able to do <laughs> you know but King David ended up doing he said go get the foreskins of the you know I believe it said the Philistines and he went to go he went to go get it okay so King David you know he put in work to get this woman Okay, now this woman, she knew that she was an Israelite. Okay? And then, after a while, King Saul gave her over to another man. Okay? And King David got this woman back. Okay? He was like, this is, this is that's my wife. You know, I put in work to get her. You know? It is what it is. You know? And that man, that man had to deal with it. Okay. Now we're not in the mindset of trying to go out here and go take some some woman that we dealt with from you know our past life. But the the point of the matter of what I'm trying to say is that he he had mercy on her, man. Okay. He had mercy on her, and then she comes up and she says this, and a lot of these women don't understand. You know, dealing with us, right? As men. We, we're, we're giving you a lot of mercy, man, because, hey, through, through us, you'll be saved, okay? Just from believing and, you know, having faith in us, you don't even got to believe in the truth, you know, but you still want to believe in the truth because this is our heritage. This is who we are, okay? This is our, this is our, this is what, you know, was, was save our soul, Okay? So it says, and David said unto Michael, it was before the Lord, right? Which chose me before your father and before all your household to appoint me ruler over the people of the Lord, over Israel. Therefore, I play before the Lord and I will yet be more vile than thus and will be and will be base in my own sight. Okay, so I'm going to get as low as I could think in, in my own, what you would call that, petty, being petty. Okay? And you you say you you petty in the world, hey, you you the worst worst guy. Hey, but we have to we have to be able to establish judgment, man. Okay? And a lot of people, man, even a lot of brothers, man, they can't they can't understand what ju you know, judgment, man. You know when it comes down from from up top, you know, from, from even the apostles, you know, other brothers, camp leaders, you know, some guys just, just can't accept judgment, okay? And one of the reasons why is because they bitch me, man, okay? Because you, you got these women controlling everything, you got the woman, your woman controlling stuff, you know, and then when somebody says that you're supposed to do certain things, you know? No matter how small it is, how small it is, you know, you can't accept it because you're not being spiritual enough. Okay, and certain things, you know, happen because the Lord, the Lord wants that man to see certain things through his eye lenses, if you want to say that, you know, so that he can have proper judgment, man. 
Okay, and us as men of the Lord, we're going to understand, you know, when we're going off, you know, because we know first and foremost why we're going off or not, man. Okay? I'm saying it takes somebody else to tell you all oh, you're going off. You know, after, you, after you've been in this thing for a minute, you know? Now, do you know, sometimes a brother may, may get on you about certain things that you may be overlooking, you know? But when you going off, yeah, you already understand that, you know. And we get spirits on us. Hey, your woman gets spirits on us, you know. Children get spirits on her. Everybody gets spirits on them. Okay. But the last thing that you know you you used to have is your woman trying to correct you. Okay. Because in this 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 situation, you know, the woman was trying to. Uh, uh, correct him And she thought that he he had a spirit on him He was out doing this for the Lord Okay He couldn't he didn't even have to do it for the Lord But hey this this Scripture These scriptures are here for us to To, to, to read and to learn And to apply apply them Okay on Into our lives Okay In this world these women Were, were put over us Okay, and we we're we're bringing back our our rightful ownership, man. Okay, they call it toxic masculinity. You know, oh the hell well. Okay, because we we haven't seen masculinity. Now all of a sudden you see men, you know, putting their foot down and being being men. Now all of a sudden it's toxic. You know, or, or that man has demons on him, or that man is, you know. <laughs> going off you know but the, the 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 niggas that was you know on the block and doing all that other crazy stuff the niggas that was before them you know they they was cool you know and it seemed like the, the women they like that type of stuff they like when a man says you know says no or you know put you know don't don't allow them to be in control you know they prefer and that's how it's supposed to be <laughs> you know you so you give them too, you know, too much rope, you know. You give them too much leeway, and they get over on you. You know they don't like that. They don't like that, you know, guy that's being a pushover and stuff like that. Okay. It says, and of the maid servants, which thou hast spoken of, and of them, Salah be had in honor. Okay. It says, therefore, Michael. The daughter of Saul had no child unto the day of her death. Okay. And uh, having children was, you know, supposed to be, you know, uh, good to women back then. You know. Ecclesiastes 25 and 16, it says, I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. You know, if you're a woman wicked, you got to be able to... to, to to get rid of her leave leave you know i remember when i first came into the truth the woman that i was dealing with you know i first you know uh uh you know found out the name found out i was israelite you know <laughs> and um <laughs> you know i i i had i left her man you know you're like where you gonna go I, I i'm like i got the truth man you know I know the I know the name of the Lord. I don't I don't allow no women to, to, to control me, you know, because they, they'll cheat on you and do all this other crazy stuff, you know. Have you looking messed up out here? Yeah, you need to make sure that you're taken care of, you know, first, man. Okay. And the women is supposed to come and they're supposed to help you. Okay. She ain't seeing, you know, doing any, none of these things. You got men that's that gotta ask their women can they have sex with them and stuff like that and then you know some of these guys right i'm not talking about some some guy in the in the in the truth you know i will hope that no guy in the truth is doing this you know but these men you know in the world they actually be having sex with their women while they on their period you know <laughs> you ain't getting you ain't getting it you know you ain't getting no sex because you allowing your woman to control that aspect, you know, and 
you know, when you get it, you, you're not even really supposed to be getting it. <laughs> you know? And then, because you, you don't know when the next time you're going to get it. So it's like, God damn, I got I to gotta do this at this point in time. You know? So it's, I, you, you got a woman like that, I wouldn't even suggest being with her, man. Okay, I've seen many times, man, guys just let their women just rule over them. Okay, it says the wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkens her countenance like sackcloth. Right, it is like like the the, the uh, Jada Pinkett Smiths, you know, that that type of woman is not supposed to be the. the she's not in the truth. But if she, you got some woman like that that's in the truth, you gotta get rid of her, man. Okay, now I'm not meddling in nobody affairs, man. But that's the fucking spirit that's being out there. You know, you got these women the, the table talk and you know watching all these crazy ass shows, man. You know, and they get. You know, oh, they could do it. <laughs> it says, her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he hears it, shall sigh bitterly. And see how many of us, you know, can say that we've seen that, okay? On numerous occasions, man. Okay? <laughs> On numerous occasions. You know, I remember my, my brother... You know, from, you know, my, my, from the world. You know, he had a woman be in the house, you know, be in the room with her though every day. Okay. Then he get, he, he leave the room for like two, two seconds. And the next thing you know, she following him and calling him. Needless to say, they're not, they're not here to get, you know, they're not together anymore to this day. You know, but he was doing that, you know, for a long time. You doing all that? You not with her still? Like it's it was pointless. What was you doing all that for? You know, you, you let these women control you, okay? And how many how many people you think allowing that women to control them for 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 this freaking holiday that's coming up? And then you got Valentine's. That's another that's another thing. You got the the. the chip the corrupt that's that's the main thing it says all wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman let the portion of a sinner fall upon her as the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the aged so is a wife full of words to a quiet man okay so those women that are full of words that don't know how to you know be quiet okay being in silence Okay, those are the women that really be trying to control their men. Okay? And if, you know, it's a woman that's, you know, in the truth, you need to reevaluate yourself, man. If you know that, that you know, you're a single woman and that's just been something that you've been, you know, doing, you need to ev evaluate yourself and you need to work on that. Okay? Because that that is a sin if you're not following everything inside these scriptures. And it's a sin as a man if you're not you know, if you're allowing your woman to control you, okay? It says, stumble not at the beauty of a woman and desire her not for pleasure. If a woman, a woman if she maintain her husband, because that's another way to, that a woman controls her man, she's paying for every goddamn thing, doing everything. It says, it's full of anger, impudence, and much reproach. A wicked woman abates the courage Right, makes a heavy countenance, and and the wounded heart, you know, and they'll say the the craziest stuff to get to you, man. Okay, ready? To, hey, look at that guy who who just c killed himself, and he killed his two women. I mean, he killed his ex-wife and he killed his his uh his his girlfriend. That was I think she was pregnant. You know. And it taught, you know, I don't know if it was the truth or not, you know, but he went out, you know, because, you know, the, the women, they wounded him, man. Okay. He was, he wasn't about to let his woman control him. And he, hey, he, he, he got, he went as far as taking them both out and himself. Now we not in that mindset of taking ourselves out or taking these women 
you know, out. Just get rid of them, man. You know, simple as that. Whatever the the, the situation is, they're going to try their best. Hey, the Lord will deliver you from out of all that, man. Okay? And if you if you threaten to leave, that they get that shit right. You know? If not, hey, the Lord, the Lord, and you leave, the Lord calls you on the peace. That's, ain't that what the scriptures say? It says, a woman that will not comfort her husband in distress makes weak hands and feeble knees. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and that's what we got to have our mindset on, okay? It says, and through her, we all die. So if you let, you're going through your woman for all the answers and all that stuff, you're going to end up dying. Okay? They can say that we're sexist and, you know, toxic masculinist or whatever they want to say. You know? But it is what it is, man. The scriptures say what they say, and this is our faith. You know? This is only for, for a short period of time because the kingdom is right, right around the corner, right? We can see it. Okay? It says, give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to gather abroad. It says, if she go not as thou wouldst have her, cut her off from thy flesh and give her a bill of divorce and let her go. Okay? And, and remember Lot's wife. Okay? That's, that's, that's important, man, for us to continue in this faith and not to let anything, you know, deter us from off of this path. Okay? If, they, if, if your woman loves you and she's trying to, you know, trying her best, you know, you, you, you know, you accept her according to what she has, you know. Your scripture says she will learn anything, let her ask her husband at home, okay. And the reason why I say anything is because it's hard for a lot of these women to learn anything, okay. But when it comes down to, you know, um... You know, she trying, you know, you try your best, man. If you got a woman, if you got a, if you don't have a woman, you know, the best thing is to focus on the truth, you know. Hey, if the Lord wants you to have a woman, he'll, he'll give you a woman, you know. But, you know, these women in this world and, and a lot of these women who claim to be, you know, Israelites, they, a lot of them ain't right, man. Okay. What did, what did, what did King Solomon say, you know. Of a thousand women, he didn't find none. Okay, so the chances of you trying to find, <laughs> you know, one in this society, you know, that's just straight up righteous, you know, you you pretty much trying to say you better than King Solomon, you know. So, hey, how much more those those seven women, you know, if you wish is the number of completion when they come, you know, you got some women that are of the elect, you know, but hey. As long as we we we're men and we in this this truth, we can't allow them to control us. We gotta stay on top of them, you know. Cause going through them, you know, that's, that's the path of death. Okay. Straight up, flat out. Okay, Lord willing, this is edifying. I want to say shalom till next time.